On the morning of September 11, I was on my way in to do Stark. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> on September 11, 2001, I was doing a soap opera. Um, I was a recurring character on All My Children at ABC, which was on West 66th Street. Uh, I was living in Connecticut at the time, so I was traveling down the Merritt Parkway on my way to work on beautiful fall, early fall day, really extraordinarily clear, beautiful day. Heading down the parkway listening to um, music when suddenly the female disc jockey broke through in a very different kind of voice saying, a plane has hit one of the towers at the World Trade Center. That's great. Um... Talk a little bit about um, your your work as a director on, on portraits and approaching the material. <laughs> so well, we, the, the cast sat around and talked about their, that first couple of days. Yes. That's what we started with. We did. We did. <clears throat> Directing a show about... Directing portraits was an interesting creative process for the actors and for director, for me as a director, because we all had to bring to the table first, and we did sit around the table for a couple of days before we got on our feet, to talk individually about just this thing. What, what were we doing um, on September 11th? And everybody needed to get that out. So. I encouraged everyone to take all the time they needed to pull, you know, to let everybody in on, on individually what happened to them on that day. I think it's very important because they were going to assume um, characters uh, and they were going to quite naturally bring their own fears about that day to, to the work. And uh, I, I think that. Uh, and what did you want the um, what did you want the audience to take away from the, the performance? I think the res uh, I think what resonates with an audience uh, when when they either go to a movie about 9/11 or a, a theater piece about 9/11 is certainly a personal experience. Um, there was great fear uh, that day. Uh, nobody knew what was going on. There were planes flying everywhere and they were, uh, they were all hijacked. And um, I've never experienced, it was like we were under, we, we, we really were under attack. And um, until it became clear what was going on for about six hours that morning, people were, <laughs> people were very frightened. And I, I, I think that was the beauty of portraits, is that it was a story about just ordinary people. And, um, and, and it, it kind of uh, showed that it was okay to be afraid. It, it was okay to, to wonder about what was going on. It was okay to, um, to be fearful. Um, it was a really, really traumatic time for a lot of people, and I, I think um, I think portraits made them take some solace in the fact that um, everybody shared that fear. And then you mentioned earlier just the critics being harsh on 9-11 pieces, saying stuff's too soon, or, you know, I think that's happened throughout history with every major event, you know, Holocaust, or, right. or, you know, you can't represent this. Did you feel... Did you feel a lot of pressure approaching this this topic, this subject? Yes, yes. It's it's it was an enormous event, uh, and, and so the first question you ask yourself as an artist is, what right do I have to take on this enormous event? Um, and so yes, um, and there was a track record of critics being pretty harsh with anybody who wanted to express themselves about nine. 
but I think the response to that was it's a personal story. It was everybody's personal story. It was so it's it's my right. It's uh, it's perfectly valid for me to try to express myself um, personally. I'm, I'm not expressing. I'm not saying that uh, we weren't trying to say that this was generally what everybody felt, but certainly everybody's story was valid. And uh, these were stories from not, not from just people who lived in Manhattan, but also people who were outside of Manhattan. Um, and because there was more, I mean, people who were a thousand miles away were more un, even more unsure of what was going on than people who could see the smoke rising from the World Trade Center. Great. Is there something else? No, it's, I mean, it's, then 